PM Datuk Sri Najib Razak says that while the government wants to extend as much assistance and benefits to the people as possible for Budget 2017, he says that his administration must also be mindful of managing Malaysia's financial position in a responsible and prudent manner. Najib explains that while there are many things that need to be done, it has to be done within the limits of the government's affordability, adding that it needed to rein in or at least manage debt and fiscal deficit in a prudent way. In Najib's own words, the government needed to be creative in overcoming the constraints it faced in order to continue helping the people. Najib was attending the second Asia Corporation Dialogue Summit in Bangkok. Two former employees of troubled Swiss bank BSI were charged by the Singapore authorities today in the ongoing case against beleaguered state fund 1MDB. Senior private bankers Yat Yu Chi and Yvonne Xia Yu Fong were each charged with three counts of forgery and four counts of failing to report suspicious transactions. Yu Chi was a former private banker to 1MDB and businessman Low Tech Joe, who was one of the individuals named in the civil forfeiture case lodged by the US DOJ related to the state fund. Including the new charges, this brings the total to four individuals that have been hauled up for their involvement with 1MDB, which is currently being probed by the Singaporean, Swiss and US authorities. One of those individuals was former BSI banker Yo Jia Wei, whose trial is due to start on October 31st. Malaysia Airport Holdings Bahad's passenger traffic grew at a record 12.3% in September, its first double-digit growth for the year. In total, 7.48 million passengers passed through MAHB's airports for September, compared to 6.66 million last year. MAHB explains that the overall passenger growth of 8.6%, which includes its airport in Turkey, was mainly driven by its airports in Malaysia. However, growth at Turkey's Sabehan Goksen International Airport declined slightly by 0.7%, as the impact lingered from earlier travel warnings and visa issues. On the bright side, MAHB says it is expecting to post better growth in 2016. Explaining that optimistic growth forecast by International Air Transport Association, together with improving average load factor, meant that 2016 will end relatively higher than the 2.5% growth posted in 2015. While a question mark remains over whether Malaysia will go nuclear, the government says it is committed to a responsible and well-informed decision on the use of it for power generation. And in charge of the decision, Malaysia Nuclear Power Corp, which has the task of implementing the country's nuclear energy development program, beginning with its first nuclear power plant. However, MNPC Chief Dr. Mohammad Zamzam Jafar was quick to point out that no firm decision to switch to nuclear has been made yet. Minister in the PM's department, Datuk Nancy Shukri, said that it is important that both the government and the public are aware of the country's preparedness for nuclear power. The Socioeconomic Research Centre, or SERC, is urging the government to revamp its public pension scheme in name of fiscal prudence. SERC is suggesting that new employees to the public sector contribute to their retirement, mirroring the private sector's contribution to the EPF. SERC's Executive Director Lee Heng Gui points out that retirement charges have been growing at a rapid rate of 10% per year and represent 9.1% of this year's government OPEX. He explains that even in the Eurozone, the governments are facing increasing pressure in pension funds due to rising populations and adds that essentially the government has to bite the bullet and embrace the reform. SERC is an independent think tank under the Associated Chinese Chambers of Commerce and Industry of Malaysia.